Have you heard? China's new supersonic jet is built to cross oceans in five hours. Faster, quieter, and more powerful than anything before. You know? Well, buckle up, because what you're about to discover could change how you think about air travel forever. China just revealed a supersonic passenger jet. Yes, a real one. That might not just beat the Concorde's record, it could bury it. It's called the C-949, and this aircraft might be the moment where fiction finally meets fact. The Concorde once ruled the skies, but it also crashed hard into reality. So why is China diving into this dangerous airspace again? That's what we're diving into right now. Here's the deal. The aviation world hasn't seen anything like this in two decades. After Concorde's retirement in 2003, the dream of supersonic passenger flight flatlined. It was too loud, too expensive, and too limited. Governments banned it from flying over land because of that window-shattering sonic boom. Airlines couldn't make it profitable. And travelers, well, not everyone had $20,000 to burn on a ticket. So why is China rolling the dice? Because this isn't Concorde 2.0. It's something far more ambitious. On March 29th, China's state-owned aerospace company quietly revealed that they're developing the C-949, a sleek, futuristic jet designed to cruise at Mach 1.6. That's roughly 1,200 miles per hour. But here's the kicker. This jet might be able to fly quietly. Instead of sounding like a thunderclap every time it breaks the sound barrier, its sonic boom could be as soft as a household hairdryer. That's not science fiction. That's what they're building toward. Now, if you're thinking, okay, but we've seen bold promises before, you're absolutely right. Aviation history is full of dreams that never left the ground. But this time, the ambition is backed with strategy. Let me put it this way. What do you get when you mix cutting-edge engines, decades of aerospace investment, and a government with something to prove on the world stage? You get the C-949. And it's not just a plane, it's a statement. But what exactly makes it so special? Well, unlike the Concorde, which carried over 100 passengers in cramped rows, the C-949 is planning for 28 to 48 business class seats only. It's not a flying bus. It's a high-speed executive lounge in the sky. The kind of jet that can make five-hour hops from Los Angeles to Shanghai feel like a quick coffee break. And while that may sound like a luxury for the elite, remember, this is how technology evolves. What's elite today might be economy tomorrow. Now, here's a question worth interrupting your thoughts for. Would you fly in a supersonic jet if it only costs slightly more than a regular long-haul ticket? Imagine shaving eight hours off your next overseas trip. Tempting, isn't it? And we haven't even talked about the most suspenseful part, whether this jet will ever make it off the ground. Because while the blueprint looks promising, there are major obstacles ahead. Cost, regulation, international airspace agreements, public perception, and of course, the ghosts of supersonic past. Remember, the Concorde was once considered unbeatable, right up until it was beaten by fuel bills, political pressure, and economics. So what's the plan? China says the C-949 will take flight by 2049. That's not a random date. It marks the 100th anniversary of the People's Republic of China, a milestone that adds pressure, pride, and politics into the cockpit. Now, let's be honest, 2049 feels far away. But the groundwork is happening right now. Prototypes, wind tunnel tests, engine tech, route mapping. This isn't just a concept on a poster. It's being engineered as we speak. And here's the cliffhanger I'll leave you with. If the C-949 succeeds, if it flies and flies well, it won't just change travel times. It could flip the balance of global aviation leadership. For the first time, the skies may not be ruled by Boeing or Airbus, but by Beijing. So the question isn't can they build it? The real question is, will the world let it fly? If you're as fascinated by the future of flight as we are, hit that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe. Because this story, it's just taking off.